Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. So guys, in today's video, we'll be creating a tree grid and a lightning web component. You must have seen the tree grid component somewhere else as well, or you might have already used it in some functionality. So guys, tree grid, basically a tree view format of a data. So let's say if I talk about today's example, so today we'll be trying to get related contacts of an account and we'll try to display them in a data grid with tree views so this is basically tree data grid or tree grid yeah tree grid the name for it okay so for that i'll be using uh, lightning design systems and from lightning design system i will use this tree grid so guys, this is the actual example of a tree grid on the lightning design system so you you may notice like here uh, there's a there's a arrow to expand or collapse the row and uh, we will be creating same kind of functionality but uh, we will be doing it with accounts and contacts so uh, when you will expand the row you will see the related contacts of that specific account okay now let me show you the output first i have already created functionality just to save the time otherwise if i will if i'm going to create it live so it could take 30 to 45 minutes and that will make this video a little large okay so this is my org guys and uh, this is the component i have built so far so here you may notice i'm having name rating phone these are the fields from account and apart from it i'm having first name and last name so these are the fields from the related contacts okay and at the end i'm I have added an action tab also where I'm having edit and delete. I'm not having any clickable action here. So this is just for demo. You may implement the functionality as per your requirement. Okay. So let me now show you the related account. So let's say if I will click on this LC demo account. So there's a one test account. So I test contact un under this account, which is test contact one. And let's check this one. There are two contacts. And if I will check this one, so there are three contacts. So that's how you may collapse and expand rows and there's another functionality to select the row so if you need the selected data so that's how you can get it and this can also help you know while creating some kind of uh, selection between data let's say if you need uh, only these two contacts to be imported from these three so you may just select these two from here so overall uh, yes it is a good functionality that can be used at n number of places let me move to the code ones okay i'll start with my apex controller so guys in my apex controller i'm using a function here which is get acc with con acc is for account con is for contact basically and here i'm just returning a query okay this is just basic apex here so i'm returning account id name phone and uh, some I don't know why I'm written rating here, but anyways and Apart from that guys. I'm uh, having uh, Contacts first name last name. Okay, so this is basically uh, inner query to Get the related contacts based on the account ID basically Okay Now let me move to the component side. So guys in component uh, in HTML part You just need to implement this lightning tree grid here. Okay, there are some basic values which needs to be added like the key field it is required like in any iteration like if you will use the normal table also so you will have to insert the key there okay otherwise the iteration is not going to work and apart from that we are having columns and we are having account here okay let's move to the javascript part so in javascript part guys what i'm doing here i'm just binding my account here okay but if you will notice so i'm not directly uh, displaying bind binded data into that tree grid because uh, guys like uh, we have to create some kind of parent and child relationship here to uh, display the tree format to expand and collapse rows so for that i'm having another parameter here which is parse data so first of all i'm parsing my data as json format in this parse data after that i'm creating a loop here and this loop i'm getting the child record here in underscore children just i'm using it just to get the child record and here you may notice like i'm getting contacts from account 
so for each account it will get contacts and it will assign those contacts into this specific account children basically so this children can be used to you know display the inside rows when you expand something and after that i am assigning this past data back to that account only that i am checking just for errors and here in a constructor i'm having my columns so you have to declare the column you can also you know uh, insert the size of that column here like you you may insert initial width of the column but uh, in my example that was not required so i'm not using it but like if you need i mean there's option to use it so that's why i'm just telling you so these are just basic fields uh, name rating the type is text here for all the fields okay and these are my action buttons which i'm having here for edit and delete and to get the action i'm using this get row action here and here i'm having an array of, of actions where i'm having edit and delete so these are just you know uh, some kind of static uh, thing here but like uh, maybe if you would like to you know enhance the functionality a little bit uh, more so you may add the functionality to edit the contact or maybe you know once you delete the contact so all the sorry once you delete the account so all the related contact uh, should also get deleted so i mean it's completely up to you okay so guys this was the functionality of it so this is just a basic free grid here and uh, apart from that guys uh, uh, this lightning design system you may also use the official website of it where you will be getting a better example just to display the tree grid and uh, there are multiple tree grids available so let's say if you are using this so here uh, on hover the row color is getting changed so there's a basic variant of it there's non-expandable variant of it which is not going to expand so it will just basically a kind of a normal grid for you and uh, apart from that uh, you may also remove or add uh, this these arrows based on the data availability so if the child data is not available in that case there's an option to remove this arrow and if the child data is available then you can show this arrow this actually makes sense i mean this should be the default functionality if the child get data is not available but unfortunately this is not default because like here in this first account i'm not having a child data so if the functionality was available by default so i think you know uh this arrow should not be here basically but i don't know like somehow it is not available by default and for these checkboxes also there's a property to remove these checkbox but uh, i think that was for i'm not sure about it because i just read read about it yesterday so but i think using that property you may remove all or show all checkbox i mean there was no option you know just to maybe i'm wrong I'm, I'm still not sure about it but as far i remember there was option to there was a property to show the checkbox and to hide the checkbox so that is for all the checkbox and here are some different example as well like selected rows deeply nested branches uh, like the parent child grandparent so you can also have that headerless action so it won't be having a header headerless with selected rows no border this is looking a little bit odd here the no border one single select so there, there are uh, multiple examples so you may just select as per a requirement modify the code and also guys for this video i will be having the complete code on my blog also which is salesforcegold.com so if you need the complete code of this example then you may just directly go to my blog and search for this tree grid there and you will be getting the complete code and guys feel free to modify the code as per your requirement okay so that's it for today guys if you like today's video a subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching